Hey guys, in today's video, I decided to talk a little bit about spending money and specifically my own experiences as it always is. Um, just things I consider for myself to be wasteful expenses versus good little additions that are worth spending extra money on. In general, I don't spend a lot of money. I don't really the only thing I spend money on is while I'm at school, basically just buying a meal every here and there when I don't feel like eating at the dining hall. Um, and that's really about it. Like, I don't drive. I don't have expenses I pay for, really. Um, because I'm dormant and all that. So, it's really just food every once in a while. So, each semester, I'm probably spending 500 bucks or less. Um, which is nothing compared to living expenses in general. So, some things that in my time in college specifically when I really started paying attention to money I kind of found to be wasteful expenses things that I didn't think were worth the money um the big one while being in college has always been drugs and alcohol um and this is again me personally mostly but I don't feel that um drugs you know never do drugs drugs are bad okay but alcohol is kind of the big one in college everyone starts drinking and stuff and realistically if you go out partying or something like, like when I was in Atlantic City the guys that wanted to drink they were spending six dollars per beer kind of thing because it's Atlantic City and you're at a bar or casino or whatever um so some of the guys in my friend group were spending a hundred bucks a night without really even worrying about it it was pretty you know crazy but um that's one that's like that's the biggest one for me that I think I spent a lot of money on I don't spend a lot of, I don't spend any money on actually um, that I think saves a lot of major money, especially because it's such an expensive product. Alcohol, cigarettes is another big one. Just those heavy expenses that become even more of an issue if you're using them more constantly. For example, if you're someone that, you know, drinks every day kind of thing, like has a beer or two every day, or someone that smokes half a pack of cigarettes every day, like those expensive can very quickly add up. Um... Another big one, kind of in a similar vein, but not really, is snacks and soda. Um, snacks, I'm talking more like randomly buying a snack out of nowhere, which I don't think people do too, too much. But buying snacks usually on the spot at a place is usually not the way to go. To move is usually to buy your snacks ahead of time and bring them with you. This is very obvious for things like a movie. If you try and buy snacks at a movie theater, you can spend three, four bucks on a box of candy. Whereas if you buy either that same exact box, you can usually get at the dollar store, like those Mike and Ike boxes, the snow caps, all those kind of things. They sell at the dollar store. Um, or you could even get a bigger bang for your buck. And the way I usually roll into a movie is I buy a box of cereal before the movie at the dollar store or something, and I eat a whole box of cereal with whoever I'm with instead of popcorn and candy or whatever. Um, and then soda is the other big one where I go out to eat. Soda and drinks in general, I guess you could classify it as. Especially if you're like an iced tea drinker. Or I do like lemonade and things like that. But I feel like a lot of those, a lot of times you're spending two bucks on that drink. A dollar fifty, two bucks, maybe even more. If it's something like a lemonade or an iced tea that's like fresh, it could be three bucks easy. And it's just an additional expense on your meal that I don't know how much extra it's after you. If you like really enjoy a lemonade or something, sure, knock yourself out. Or... Like, I don't drink soda a lot, so every once in a while, maybe I'll get a soda while I'm out because it's a special thing for me. But, so, so, extra expense, you get tacked onto your bill that is usually not worth it. Like, for me personally, if I want to spend an extra three bucks on something, I might as well grab, like, an appetizer, or pay for half an appetizer even, which I think is a better use of the money. Um, I also mentioned movie snacks and all that already, so another thing I'll mention is... The other little accessories that come along with an event, so snacks at a movie, souvenirs when you're traveling, like in the airport and stuff, uh, buying a concert t-shirt when you go to a concert, things like that. A lot of it has to do with sentimental value when you're talking about souvenirs and concert t-shirts and things of that sort of nature. But I guess it's more my opinion, again, that if you want to buy a mug that says Las Vegas on it or whatever, you could theoretically buy that mug on amazon and it's the same exact mug if you're really dying for a mug that says las vegas on it and a lot of times it's like souvenirs and things like that you don't end up getting a ton of use out of but again that might just be me i'm not a very material based person so having like a t-shirt from my favorite concert i went to isn't a huge deal for me um and another thing i'll bring up is us excessive meals and by that i mean i have friends that 
every single day. They work, they work five days a week. Every single day, they buy their lunch. And sure, maybe that's an okay option for you. But if you're buying your lunch, like I say, in New York City, if you're working a job in New York City, you're buying your lunch every single day. You're spending 10 bucks every single day on lunch, which I know this, a lot of this stuff is nickel and diamond. I understand that. But it's these little expensive where, like, I pack my lunch for work and I spend 10 bucks a week on lunch maybe because I'm packing it and I make it the night before kind of like I'll make a I don't know, pasta and meatballs or whatever. A bag of pasta and some meatballs costs maybe $30 for the week, maybe, if you're like really getting nice food, which I'm not. But just I just thought there were some little expenses that I try to avoid and I think are smart to avoid, at least in my opinion. On the other side of things, some stuff I usually splurge the extra money on because I think it's worth it. Uh, the big one is travel expenses, travel improvements specifically. So like when you're buying plane tickets, it's usually worth the extra five, ten bucks to reserve your seat if you're going basic economy. It's usually worth spending an extra 10, 15, 20 bucks a night to get a better hotel room that has good reviews and is reliable and all that. It's worth the seven to ten bucks to take an uber from point a to point b if it's cold out or dark or snowing or raining or whatever if it's real nice out sure take the walk but if the weather is not great or it's a longer walk it's usually worth spending the money on the uber so those are what i mean by like the travel improvements um your major thing is good additional money to spend is long-term investments better car better house better headphones better um electronics kind of just looking at things around my room basically where it's like yeah you could buy you know a pair of headphones for 30 bucks easily and some of them are good enough but if you're going to use your headphones like I use my headphones every single day for hours they on average I probably use my headphones for I don't know somewhere between six to nine hundred hours a year which is a lot, I'm pretty sure. Like, that's probably, you know, like 10% of the year or something ridiculous. I'm probably wearing headphones. Um, that might be high, but you get what I'm trying to say. I wear my headphones a lot. It was worth it to me to buy a 150 to $200 pair of headphones that I have owned since high school that I've had for well over six, seven, eight years maybe. So those kind of expenses are definitely worth it. And then I feel like better car, better house is kind of self-explanatory. If for... 50 bucks a month more, you can get a dramatically better car. It's definitely worth the money on that. Same thing with the whole house. I mentioned it a lot in the last video, so I'm not going to get too deep into it. Um, on the lighter side of things, the food like additions I usually think are worth it. I know that's kind of counterintuitive to what I was saying about drinks and soda. Ultimately, buy whatever makes you happy, I guess. But for me, what I'm talking about specifically is like when I get a Taylor ham, egg, and cheese in the morning... I'll spend a dollar to put a hash brown on it because it makes it better to me. Same thing with like extra meat. Like if you're oohing and eyeing at the menu and you're deciding whether it's worth 50 cents to add like double your turkey or double your ham or whatever it is on like a sandwich or something like that, it usually is worth it. It's 50 cents, a dollar, whatever it may be. Those really, really little additions or expenses that you think will make the meal a lot better for you, knock yourself out. The reason I don't think soda and those kind of like drinks are worth it to me or because a i'm you know not crazy about drinks in general but also i'm usually just as happy with water like there's been very few times where i get a soda and i'm like oh this is so much better than if i just got a glass of water to go with my meal like i'm having enough calories and flavor with my meal usually um and then the overall like category i put these two things under so i was talking about wasteful expenses and in general, I categorize that as the mindless expenses and the constant expenses. Things that you, constant expenses in terms of like drugs, alcohol, soda, snacking, excessive meals, like those things that every time you do it, it's just a little extra money each time that you're kind of wasting, in my opinion. Um, and then for good additions, I call it the one time splurging, which is like if you're going to a fun activity, like once a month or three times a year, which is more like my case, I go maybe to three like events each year. Um, whether they be a concert or 
a vacation or even a date I will call fun activity kind of thing. And it's worth it to spend the extra money on those things. Like when I go out on a date, it's never like, oh yeah, grab anything that's under 10 bucks on the menu. Like, I, you know, if I go out on a date with someone and the meal comes out to 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever it may be, it's usually worth it. Um, which I know that sounded probably crazy to some people, but I've been on, you know, dates where that's worth it. And same thing with like concerts and parties. If you have a band you absolutely love and they're playing near you and you want to go, if the tickets are 50 bucks each, do it. Or if they're a hundred bucks each, do it. Like doing it every once in a while is one thing. I'd rather, for me personally, I'd rather spend a hundred bucks in one shot to see my favorite band than spend an extra $2 every single time I eat a meal because I got a soda with it. That's how I kind of balance it out in my head. Um, but yeah, this is, a, in general, one of the big things I'm personally working on because I will spend way too much money just like ooing and eyeing at a price and nickel and diming it to see if it's worth it and all that. I think I've talked about this before, but like it was noticeable to me recently because like I was at... I went to get lunch and they had the snacks. It was a poke bowl place, which is like a sushi bowl thing for those of you that don't know. They had a snack size bowl and then they had the regular size bowl. The snack size bowl had like literally half of everything. The regular size bowl was twice that amount and it was three bucks more. So for the extra three bucks, it was worth it. And like those little kind of things, um, I always am nickel and diamond, and it's definitely not worth it. And it's one of those things I definitely need to get better about. Like, I was recently buying a hotel room for an event I'm going to. Um, when it comes to something like a hotel, per se, if it's 10 bucks more to be in, like, a four four to five-star hotel versus you save that 10 bucks and you're in a three-star hotel, it's worth that 10 bucks to me. So, I don't know, these are, just, as always, my opinions, and they probably mean nothing, but I feel like I would throw them out there. But in any case, I'm gonna wrap it up here. This video is getting a little longer than I wanted it to. So as always, I'll thank you all for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.